Hula has been a part of my life for many years, but it was really not until many, many years later that I saw Hula worship, and I thought it was just the most amazing way to praise God. But it was not until there was a bad place in my life that I said maybe this is how I worship and how I express um, my feelings, my prayers through Hula. One day, some of the Hula members said, come and join, just see what we're all about. And the dam broke in me and I was just, just totally surrendered. I said, okay, God. And that was almost 20 years ago and it has evolved into something so much more. The first time I saw Hula Bushi was when Miss Yoshi and her team came to uh, Saddleback Irvine North. It was so beautiful, so graceful. And I was like, I don't think I'm qualified, you know, but then she's like, no, you, you just dance from your heart. Dancing in front of people, I do get stage fright, but then Miss Yoshi and the rest of the sisters will always remind me that we're doing it for Jesus. So when people ask me, when are you performing? I, I will always correct them and say, no, we are worshiping. In hula worship, we're praying to God. When I dance, I dance for Him, and I want to reach one more through hula. That has never changed. And that's the passion that I have that keeps me going through difficult times. I have so many strangers who actually walk up to us after our worship, and they said it's amazing that they could feel the presence of the Holy Spirit. and. They want to be part of our family. We do so much together. We pray, we minister, we serve. Out of the many outreaches we do, it's not the big stage where there's a lot of people. It's the smaller stage in the assisted livings. And it's so intimate and I can see people have broken down. They have given their lives to Christ. All through what God has done through this ministry. It's a beautiful ministry of fellowship and discipleship and, and we will never stop. <laughs>